planets move in ellipses with the sun at one focus. God is the kind creator who brought forth nature out of nothing. The squares of the periodic times are proportional to the cubes of the mean distances from the sun. The radius vector describes equal areas in equal times. Geometry is one and eternal shining in the mind of God. That share in it accorded to men is one of the reasons that man is the image of God. When ships to sail the void between the stars have been built, there will step forth men to sail these ships. Where there is matter, there is geometry. Ships and sails proper for the heavenly air should be fashioned. Then there will also be people who do not shrink from the dreary vastness of space. The roads by which men arrive at their insights into celestial matters seem to me almost as worthy of wonder as those matters in themselves. I believe only and alone in the service of Jesus Christ. In him is all refuge and solace. Eyesight should learn from reason. It may be well to wait a century for a reader, as God has waited six thousand years for an observer. I am a Lutheran astrologer, I throw away the nonsense and keep the hard kernel. Nature uses as little as possible of anything. Nature loves simplicity and unity. Wherever there are qualities, there are likewise quantities, but not always vice versa. Science is the process of thinking God's thoughts after him. The creator, the fountain of all wisdom, the approver of perpetual order, the eternal and superessential spring of geometry and harmonics. Geometry existed before the creation. It is co-eternal with the mind of God. Geometry provided God with a model for the creation. Just as the eye was made to see colors, and the ear to hear sounds, so the human mind was made to understand, not whatever you please, but quantity. If the earth should cease to attract its waters to itself, all the waters of the sea would be raised and would flow to the body of the moon. Without proper experiments, I conclude nothing. Truth is the daughter of time, and I feel no shame in being her midwife. My greatest desire is that I may perceive the God whom I find everywhere in the external world, in like manner also within and inside myself. Geometry is one and eternal shining in the mind of God. Now, 
As God the Maker played he taught the game to nature whom he created in his image, taught her the self-same game which he played to her. Do we ask what profit the little bird hopes for in singing? I used to measure the heavens, now I measure the shadows of earth. The mind belonged to heaven, the body's shadow lies here. So long as the mother, ignorance, lives, it is not safe for science, the offspring, to divulge the hidden causes of things. I measured the skies, now the shadows I measure, skybound was the mind, earthbound the body rests. Kepler's Epitaph If God himself has waited 6,000 years for someone to contemplate his works, my book can wait for a hundred. Once miracles are admitted, every scientific explanation is out of the question. God gives every animal the means of saving its life. Why object if he gives astrology to the astronomer? Wheresoever the earth may be placed, or whithersoever it may be carried by its animal faculty, heavy bodies will always be carried towards it. O telescope, instrument of much knowledge, more precious than any scepter. The earth is round and is inhabited on all sides, is insignificantly small, and is born through the stars. The sun alone appears, by virtue of his dignity and power, suited for this motive duty of moving the planets, and worthy to become the home of God himself. I believe the geometric proportion served the Creator as an idea when he introduced the continuous generation of similar objects from similar objects. Astronomy would not provide me with bread if men did not entertain hopes of reading the future in the heavens. Why are things as they are and not otherwise? Discover the force of the skies, O oh men, once recognized it can be put to use. Geometry is the archetype of the beauty of the world. I much prefer the sharpest criticism of a single intelligent man to the thoughtless approval of the masses. Quantity is the fundamental feature of things, the primarium accidens substantiae, prior to the other categories. In theology we must consider the predominance of authority, in philosophy the predominance of reason.